Welcome back to another Lefsoon upload. Today I will be showing you two really overpowered loadouts for the new Venture season that came out recently. If you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel and turned on notifications, please make sure to do so and you'll never miss any videos like this one. We are very close to 300 subscribers and once I do hit 300 on my Discord server, I will be doing a one month Nitro giveaway for my subscribers. And we are on the road to 600 members in the server as well, so uh, click the invite link in the description and join if you haven't already. First loadout I will be showing you is a loadout mainly focusing on killing the husks rather than farming. And the loadout is, the commander is Bloodfinder AC, which increases anti-material charge damage to enemies by 225%, which basically means that you don't need to use a gun at all. And Long Arm of the Law increases anti-material charge range. And then uh, in the support team, we have Clip, which objects destroyed by anti-material charge have a 33% chance to drop additional ingredients. And as you guys, as everybody should know already, this venture season, this venture season has a modifier where anti-material charge does zero energy cost. So you can do it as many times as you please, and it's just very good overall. And after that, there is Valkyrie Rio. I think that's what she's called. Um, she increases anti-material charge impact by 245% and adds knockback, which is still really good, which stuns smashers, stuns pretty much anything if you don't kill it. Saurian Vigor, which is Tricera Ops Ramirez, uh, heal 2.125% chance of your max health every 5 seconds. And then Burger Buff, which eliminations have an 8% chance to drop a burger, and they grant 53 base health and 5 energy over 1 second for 3 seconds. And the best part about this allow is Survivalist Jonesy, which means that you will be healed every you'll be healed every time you get a kill with on a husk or anything like that. So basically just means the more damage you do to husks is you just get siphon off of it it's really good and then the gadgets are stationary hover turret and adrenaline rush all maxed out so i don't know why it is showing the character but the Bloodfinder ac loadout the damage one to be exact is i'm just showing a little bit of an example of what this looks like as you can see no energy is being used this venture season so you can just do this as much as you want let me try to find a encampment real quick. All right, so here's an encampment, and now we'll see what this does. One shots every almost every husk, besides nurses and the larger and the huskies. But again, very overpowered to use, and just like that. The encampment is done without even using a f without even using a gun and loadout number two is more of a farming loadout and the commander is cassie or clip like i said earlier and when she is the commander she has a hundred a 100 percent chance to drop additional ingredients when you destroy something with anti-material charge and again long arm of the law just increases the material anti-material charge range we also have uh survivalist jonesy again for the siphon very good hero to use and then i kind of just switch Bloodfinder ac with cassie and when he's in your support team he'll increase damage by 75 percent and then we also have um main stage quinn which will give you subwafers whenever you harvest metal objects. Phase forward, which 
grants additional 30% movement speed for 3 seconds after you do a phase shift. Saurian focus while shield is depleted generates 4 energy per second. And then the gadgets, you would use supply drop and adrenaline rush. Supply drop, just more materials. This is just uh, an easy loadout you can use to just do farming and stuff if you need any materials. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try to go for 10 likes. It's kind of a stretch, but I, I believe I believe we can get 10 likes on this video. And uh, like I said at the start, join the Discord server, v getting very close to 200 or 600, and then 300 subscribers on YouTube, and uh, new uploads coming soon. See you later.